I just want to say it's fall, y'all. So, um, <laughs> that was what I was going to say. Thank you. And I noticed it was fall because the spirit Halloweens have been popping up everywhere. And that's another thing where I have this kind of intrusive thought that I really want to like throw a pipe bomb through all of the spirit Halloween. Really? I love spirit Halloween. It's weird. Like it's a really polarizing thing for me. I would never enter a spirit Halloween. I don't know if I've ever gone in one, but I do love them. You like the idea of them? <laughs> yeah. I think it's crazy the way that they're just taking over old historical buildings that closed during COVID. I would always get my Halloween costumes as a kid from that catalog do you know the catalog that i'm yeah, referring I to actually do. i miss catalogs me too circling stuff i just circle things and then, and then pray pray that they would come my way <laughs> what was i gonna say oh crap i just i feel like that, that's a show catalog no <laughs> scrap lyle the crocodile reality bring spirit in, no, bring in reality TV bring in show based in spirit halloween okay i'm gonna write a show right now okay bring in whoever voiced the evil spider guy that ran this, the the whole office in uh, the corporation in Monsters, Inc. And he is expanding his network of spirit Halloweens and in turn has ended up in a small town, USA. And he's closing down their, like, I don't know, their theater that, like, everyone grew up in. And they have to save this theater, which in turn they do that by two kids. And I'm, I'm picturing childhood Amanda Bynes and Frankie Muniz. Your brain is an incredible place. Go heading off and they find this web of lies... And I think I'm just talking about Big Fat Liar. What does this have to do with Spirit Halloween? Because his whole his whole thing is this network of Spirit Halloweens and he ends up, he's trying to take over the world with sneakily. Oh, but sorry, I must have missed that part. He's basically, yeah, he has some, <laughs> it's it's a front for something, but I haven't figured out that part. Okay, you've got to flesh this out more. Because I started talking about it 30 seconds ago and uh -huh. I'm kind of figuring out okay. as I go. Totally. I think you've got to see a good seed there. Yeah. Yeah. My next sidebar today is the Lumineers. Okay. I know I talked about them earlier, a couple episodes ago, about how I was ironically playing them. Uh, on the ox when I was around people that has taken a turn the irony has now fled the building I love the Lumineers <laughs> we're, we're lucky to have them they're one of the best bands that we've ever seen and I think that if we were to renew the national anthem I really think that they have a chance that to... happened to me with Ed Sheeran really incredible like literally like the best artist of our time it feels like <laughs> yeah it feels like if I was doing something to, to be funny like oh I'm like oh I'm like smoking yeah I'm smoking cigarettes now and then like I got addicted to cigarettes because I was kidding. Yeah. No, that's what? a genuine phenomenon. Like anything I've ever started to do, ironically, not ironic anymore. Like my Twilight obsession started at what? Started ironically. Let me just see if I have. And now it's like. <laughs> Look at what's last played on my uh, <laughs> Stubborn Love. Stubborn Love by Lumineers. Which I think we could just replace the national anthem with Stubborn Love. I think that'd be fine. Never heard it. It's okay. You were about to sing it? Yeah. But I was thinking if the Lumineers covered the national anthem. Dun, 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 dun. Uh -huh. No, I can't do it. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. No, I can't do it. Who would you choose to cover the national anthem if we had to redo it? Well, they should renew that more. Um, That's a really good question. I guess anyone can just sing the national anthem. At this moment in time, yeah. today, Keith Urban. Yeah. Just because I've been listening to that one song. And have you been listening to that one song because of the show that you've been watching? What, The Fault in Our Stars? No, Patient. The Patient? Why would I, what does that song have to do with The Patient? The guy, the psycho. Part of the barefoot family. Yeah, but that's not Keith Urban. Yeah, it is. Oh no, it's unrelated. Ooh, I think unrelated. That might have been. Um, that's not really a spoiler. Um, but unrelated, no. Anyways, uh, my next thing on my sidebar is Brooke asking me last week. Brooke didn't know that guys no, get well, boners I, unless it's intentional. Brooke thought that no, it was always a really. Mindful... That's not true. I saw a TikTok that said guys get like. 12 to 15 boners a day and then i texted connor immediately and was like how many boners do you get a day no context <laughs> um and then he it, it's true which i thought it was i thought the tiktok was a joke 12 to 15 i would like or, pass out well yeah but not that many but like i thought it i didn't i thought maybe like one tops a day yeah no, unless you're going through puberty than, i am going through puberty i'm pretty sure really still. like yeah. second second burst or first I, i'm getting a second wind but that is shocking to me and I was like going through this obsessive period of just like asking all my guy friends. And it's it's real. And none of my girlfriends knew that. We should open more conversation yeah. about boners. Is there any, yeah. Is there anything else you can teach me about the male anatomy while we're here? <sighs> no. I don't really know that much. And that's just insane to me that it just like, it happens just out of nowhere. I'm confused why guys have nipples. Yeah, that's a good point. Is it just for? I guess just for show. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we don't technically need. Yeah. Like your appendix. 
Are you telling nipples are, are the appendix of the of the man, even though you also have appendix at Sai. Do you have any questions about the female body? So many. Do you have any that you want to ask me? Nope.